Welcome students. Earlier we have discussed about polynomial in which we discussed the factor theorem. In factor theorem we have to substitute the value of x and from that getting the polynomial value as 0 we could have find the factors of the polynomial. Now in this case, in this session, we will discuss about some identities. Here we will discuss some identities already discussed in our previous classes and some more identities to be discussed here and their application. Now this is one very familiar identity x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square. Now let's discuss that what is identity. This is a statement algebraic statement in which x and y are variables. If we put the value of x and y here in left side whatever result you get, if you put the value of x and y same value on right side you will get this same value and this will be, uh, this will prevail for any pair of values of x and y. So these are called identities. Some more identities are x minus y whole square is equal to x square minus 2xy plus y square and x square minus y square is equal to product of x plus y and x minus y and x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus x whole into a plus b plus a into b. Now these are the identities we have gone th through before this class. Now we have to discuss some more identities. Let us start one by one x plus y plus z whole square. To get this let us start with its whole square x plus y plus z whole square. Let us consider y plus z as, as one identity or one variable. Then we have say x plus m. Now this becomes if y plus z is m, so this whole square becomes x plus m whole square. So what will be the result? What is its formula? As in the first identity we have this, this is x square plus 2 into x into m. In place of m, now let me write y plus z plus then m square. In place of m square, let me write y plus z whole square. This is equal to x square plus 2xy plus 2 into 2x into z, 2xz. Then here simply whole square of y plus z. So y square plus 2yz plus z square. Now let's rearrange it. All the square terms x square, y square and z square first. x square plus y square plus z square then product terms that is 2 into xy plus 2 into yz plus 2 into xz or zx whatever you write. So our identity is x plus y plus z whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz 
plus 2zx. Let us uh, discuss another one that is here we have x plus y whole cube. x plus y whole cube can be written as x plus y whole square into x plus y. Now we have what is the identity gives x about x plus y whole square that is x square plus 2xy plus y square this is to be multiplied with x plus y. Now by taking the distributive property x square into x plus y plus 2xy into x plus y plus y square into x plus y. Here it gives x square into x is x cube x square plus y gives x square y plus 2xy into x gives 2x square y 2xy into y gives plus 2xy square plus y square into x gives y square x and y square plus y gives plus y cube. This implies this shows let us arrange them in their power that is x cube plus y cube then x square and y term x square y 2x square y that gives 3x square y and 2xy square and here see y square x is same as xy square so we can write plus 3xy square. Let be more specific x cube plus y cube from these two. This is actually the result but let me take common 3xy from this we get x from this we get y. So this is a form easily, easily remarkable or identifiable form that is x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y. Similarly as x plus y whole cube is like this we can also find x minus y whole cube. x minus y whole cube is sim simple very simple as uh, like this. This is x minus y to the power 3 can be written as x minus y whole square into x minus y and x minus y whole square is x square minus 2xy plus y square this is to be multiplied with x minus y. This is equal to x square into x minus y x minus y is to be multiplied with each term. So x square into x minus y minus 2xy into x minus y plus y square into x minus y. Here. Now here also again product of two way monomial with a binomial that is x square into x gives x cube then x square minus y gives minus x square y minus 2xy into x gives minus 2x square y minus 2xy into minus y gives plus 2 xy square and y square into x gives plus y square x y square into minus y gives minus y cube. Now let us rearrange it. We have x cube minus y cube then minus x square y 
माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वायर वाई गिव्स माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर वाई देन प्लस टू एक्स वाई स्क्वायर एंड हियर इट इज प्लस एक्स वाई स्क्वायर सम ऑफ दिस टू इज थ्री एक्स वाई स्क्वायर नाउ एज बिफोर वी कैन टेक कॉमन एक्स क्यू माइनस वाई क्यू एंड फ्रॉम दिस टू वी कैन टेक कॉमन माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई सो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट विल गेट एक्स एंड फ्रॉम सेकेंड वन विल गेट माइनस वाई सो दिस इज द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स माइनस वाई होल क्यूब दैट इज एक्स क्यूब माइनस वाई क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई होल इन टू एक्स माइनस वाई नाउ लेट्स सी अनदर आइडेंटिटी दैट इज एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड होल इन टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई माइनस वाई जेड माइनस जेड एक्स सो एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड टू बी मल्टीप्लाइड विथ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई माइनस वाई जेड माइनस जेड एक्स we can simply multiply x plus y plus z with x square x plus y plus z with y square x plus y plus z with z square x plus y plus z with minus xy and x plus y plus z with minus yz so here it is written minus and again with x plus y plus z into zx if we multiply in first one we have x cube x square into x x cube plus x square into y x square y plus x square into z gives x square z y square into x gives x y square y into y square gives y cube and z into y square gives plus y square z in second line we multiplied x with z square we have z square x then y into z square we can write plus y z square z into z square gives z cube minus x into xy gives minus x square y minus y into x y gives minus x y square minus z into x y gives minus x y z and in case of third one third line minus x into y z gives minus x y z minus y into y z gives minus y square z and minus z into y z gives minus y z square here again minus x into z x gives minus z x square minus y into z x gives minus x y z minus z into z x gives minus z square x now if we look through it then like this x square y and minus x square y cancelled x square z and here x square z minus cancel x y square minus x square x y square plus y square z and 
माइनस वाई स्क्वायर जेड कैंसल्ड आउट जेड स्क्वायर एक्स इज कैंसल्ड आउट विथ माइनस जेड स्क्वायर एक्स वाई जेड स्क्वायर एक्स इज कैंसल्ड विथ माइनस वाई जेड स्क्वायर इन दिस वे वी हैव ओनली एक्स क्यूब प्लस वाई क्यूब प्लस जेड क्यूब एंड हियर वन माइनस एक्स वाई जेड हियर वन माइनस एक्स वाई जेड एंड हियर वन माइनस एक्स वाई जेड माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई जेड सो फ्रॉम दिस वी गेट दैट एक्स क्यूब प्लस वाई क्यूब प्लस जेड क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई जेड अदर वे वी कैन से दैट एक्स क्यूब प्लस वाई क्यूब प्लस जेड क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई जेड इज एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इंटू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई माइनस वाई जेड माइनस जेड एक्स ना लेट सी सम एप्लीकेशंस यूजिंग दिज आइडेंटिटीज वी हैव टू फाइंड द प्रोडक्ट हाउ टू फाइंड द प्रोडक्ट हाउ टू यूज द आइडेंटिटी विदाउट एक्चुअल मल्टीप्लीकेशन वी कैन परफर्म द मल्टीप्लीकेशन यूजिंग सम आइडेंटिटी वन जीरो फोर इंटू वन जीरो सिक्स हियर वी नीड नॉट हैव टू मल्टीप्लाय दैम डायरेक्टली वी कैन राइट इट हंड्रेड प्लस फोर इंटू हंड्रेड प्लस फोर इंटू हंड्रेड प्लस सिक्स जस्ट कंपेयर दिस विथ एक्स प्लस फोर इंटू एक्स प्लस सिक्स और द आइडेंटिटी इज एक्स प्लस ए इंटू एक्स प्लस बी एंड दिस आइडेंटिटी गिवस दैट एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस ए प्लस बी इंटू एक्स प्लस ए बी सो यू कैन राइट हियर दैट हंड्रेड स्क्वेर प्लस हियर ए प्लस बी मीन्स फोर प्लस सिक्स इंटू एक्स इज हंड्रेड प्लस ए बी इज सिक्स इंटू फोर दैट मीन्स हियर इट इज हंड्रेड स्क्वेर प्लस सिक्स प्लस फोर टेन इंटू हंड्रेड गिवस वन थाउजेंड प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर The result is one one zero two four. If we directly multiply, we can see that the result will be eleven thousand twenty four. Now let's see another example. Using identity, find hundred thirteen into eighty seven. So, what type of identity is to be used here? just look at it here we have to find that 113 into 87 is 200 and half of it is 100 113 exceeds 100 by 13 and 87 is lag by 13 from 100 so 113 into 87 can be written as Hundred plus thirteen and hundred minus thirteen. Now see this form. We can compare this with x plus y into x minus y. And what is it? X plus y into x minus y. We know this is x square minus y square. So we can simply Use this that hundred square minus thirteen square. Hundred square is ten thousand minus thirteen square is one six nine. So this gives one three eight nine nine eight three one. So without actual multiplication just by applying the identity a square minus b square we can find the 
answer. Then using identity, evaluate 23 to the power 3. What type of identity is to be used here? 23 is same as 23 cube is same as 20 plus 3 whole cube. Here, this is x plus y whole cube form, which gives x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y. So here we have 20 cube plus 3 cube plus 3 into 20 into 3 into 20 plus 3. 20 q gives 8,000. 3 q gives 27. Now this is 3 into 3, 9. 9 into 2 is 18. 180 into 23. That is 8,000 plus 27 plus this gives 2318. 18 into 3 gives 54. 36 plus 5, 41, 414, 0. Then this gives 7, 4 plus 2, 6, 1, then 4 plus 8, 12. 1, 2, 1, 6, 7. This is the cube of 23. Now see, let's factorize x cube plus y cube using our identity. What is our identity? Here, cubic identity is x plus y whole cube. So, x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y. This gives x plus y whole cube. This is our identity as we discussed earlier. From this we get x cube plus y cube is equal to x plus y whole cube minus this part will shift to right side gives 3xy into x plus y and this is equal to now here we can take x plus y common from that we get x plus y whole into x plus y whole square minus 3xy. Now we can apply the identity of x plus y whole square here. From that we get x square plus 2xy plus y square then minus 3xy. This shows x plus y x square c plus 2xy minus 3xy gives minus xy plus y square. So here x cube plus y cube is x plus y into x square minus xy plus y square. Here x plus y and x square minus xy plus y square are two factors of x cube plus y cube. Now another question using the identity of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. What is that? We know that x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx and from this 
as x plus y plus z is 0, so this is 0 into something that is x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. This implies x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is 0. So by taking this 3xyz to the right side, we get x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz. Now, if we want to factorize x cube minus y cube, then simply take the identity x minus y whole cube. What is that? See x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into x minus y gives x minus y whole cube. From this, we can write x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y whole cube. This part will be shifted to the right side. That gives plus 3xy into x minus y. From these two we have x minus y as common. Taking x minus y common, we have here x minus y whole square and from here we have plus 3xy. So x minus y and the identity of x minus y square is x square minus 2xy plus y square now write plus 3xy so what, what is the result x minus y into x square minus 2xy plus 3xy gives plus xy plus y square so the factors of x cube minus y cube are x minus y and x square plus xy plus y square. Now see x cube minus x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. This can be again written in another form like x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. This is simply x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. If we divide it by 2 and multiply 2 in the second factor, then we get 2x square plus 2y square plus 2z square minus 2xy minus 2yz minus 2zx. So 1 by 2 into x plus y plus z. Then here we can rearrange this as x square plus y square minus 2xy plus y square plus z square minus 2yz plus z square plus x square minus 2zx. Just rearrange this, we will get this one. Then what happens? Each is an ID identity. This is identity of x minus y whole square. And this is identity of y minus z whole square. And this is identity of z minus x whole square. So we can prove this. Now look at very interesting problem. This is x minus y whole cube plus y minus z whole cube plus z minus x whole cube. We have to factorize it. It seems to be very long. But how easily we can factorize it. Look at this. We know if x plus y plus z is equal to 0, then x cube plus 
y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz just we proved it earlier now you see in place in place of x it is written x minus y in place of y it is written y minus z and in place of z it is written z minus x so what is the sum here the sum is 0 this shows that x minus y whole cube plus y minus z whole cube plus z minus x whole cube is equal to 3 into here 3 x y z so here 3 into x minus y into y minus z into z minus x see here this whole polynomial is expressed as product of three linear polynomials so these are the factors of this one x minus y whole cube plus y minus z whole cube plus z minus x whole cube so today we learn about different identities and what are the identities we studied today let's have a look these are the first four are studied earlier in earlier classes and today we learned about x plus y plus z whole square x plus y whole cube x minus y whole cube and about x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz and we efficiently used it in some problems dear students it's time now to leave thank you